stand tall, strong feet, feeling the earth beneath you, shoulders back and down, T-zone in, so pelvic floor up, lower belly muscles drawing in, ribs flattening down towards the hips, collarbones wide. Let's just start by taking our arms up above our head as we inhale through our nose, exhale out to the side. Inhale here, exhale, curve our back round. Inhale, expand the chest. Exhale, bring them forward. Inhale, exhale. So inhaling through the nose, exhaling out the mouth. Inhale, arms above your head, exhale down by your side. Okay, feet are shoulder width apart, a bit wider than the hip. Toes can point out slightly if that's comfortable, hands on hips. Inhale to prepare, tighten the T-zone, exhale, come down into a squat. Chest is up, bottom tailbone towards the ground. Inhale up, exhale down. Scoop that belly in. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Staying down, bring your arms out to your side. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, twist around towards the back. Inhale, centre. Exhale, twist the other way. Inhale, centre. Exhale, twist. Inhale, centre. Exhale, twist. Back to centre and down. Let's go into a lunge now. Right foot forward, left foot back. Get your balance, hands on hips, and we're just going down and up. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Keep that going. Still being conscious of your T-zone, pulling your pelvic floor. Keeping that lower belly abdominal muscles pulled in. Okay, let's go down now. Take our arms to the side and then twist as we exhale. Inhale back to centre, twist the other way. Inhale back to centre, just in your own time, and twist. Testing your balance. We ground those feet. Keep the shoulders down our back. One more each side. And bring our hands to our side and step forward. Okay, lunging the other foot forward, so my left foot's forward. Hands on my hips, get your balance first. Line the hips up square, down we go. And up, down, up. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, 
with a few more of these roll downs, really trying to lengthen between each vertebrae as we come up and over. I'm rolling over. Letting yourself hang completely loosely. Upper body completely relaxed. Using gravity to let yourself roll up and over. Then we're going to walk out to a plank. So a full plank from the toes. Shoulders over wrists, or you can drop the knees down and curl the toes. And if you want to just try the full plank just for a few seconds, you can always come out of it onto the knees. And we'll try and hold here for a little while, take some deep breaths. Dropping that knee and arm. Reset. Right arm out. Left it, leg extends. Try and draw the shoulders away from the ears. And rest down. Okay. Going into... Our sunbird here, keeping our arms underneath our shoulders. We're going to kick our right leg up as high as you can, bring it down, touch the knee gently to the floor, then take the knee out to the side. Kick up, down, out to the side. But while we're doing so, we're trying to keep our hips level. So up, down, out. So try not to take that left hip over on too much of an angle. Try and keep it, that left thigh still straight up and down. Two more. And just have a little bit of a rest back onto the heels for a moment. Stretching the arms overhead. Now child's pose. And then we'll come back on all fours for the other side. So kicking the left leg up, knee down, out to the side. Up. Down, out. Two 
more. Up. Out. Up. Out. Good job. Back into child's pose again. And then we're going to make our way all the way down onto our tummy. Arms and legs extended. Legs are hip width apart. Tops of the feet facing down to the base of the floor. Head facing down to the mat. We're going to lift our opposite arm and leg. So just leave the head on the floor for the first couple. Just lifting the leg and the arm, lengthening. Trying to keep the T-zone pulled up, the lower belly pulled up, pelvic floor in. Trying to keep the hip bones level. They're not actually coming off the floor. And then as you feel able, you may lift the chest up a little higher. Still keep your face looking down towards the mat so the back of your neck is long rather than hunched backwards. Okay, now we're going to try double arms, double legs. So inhale, lift both arms, both legs. And lower. And lift. And lower. And lift. And lower. Keep that lower belly pulled in. And lower. And lift. And lower. And lift. And lower. And on our last one, we're going to hold up there. So inhale, lift, stay there. Exhale. Inhale again, hold up. Exhale. One more breath. Inhale. And exhale, lower down. Good job. Little rest before we come up into our plank again. So pushing up, try for a full plank this time. If you can't, come down onto the elbows and just hold. Uh, no, we stay on a, a, a long arm, sorry, but just try and hold a plank from the knees. Otherwise, up onto the toes. Make sure our shoulders are over our arms. Long line from our heels to our crown of our head. And then we're just tapping one knee to the mat at a time. So down, 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 down. Keep that going. Not dropping the hips at all, so if the knee doesn't reach the mat, it doesn't matter. Don't forget to breathe. And then both knees down, come back into child's pose again. to the forearms. We're coming in for a double hamstring curl, so extend your legs long, tops of the feet on the mat, and then I just want you to flex your feet and pull them in for the count of three, extend, flex, two, three, extend. In the meantime, not forgetting about our Lower belly, muscles being pulled up, not just spilling all over the mat. Shoulders are drawing down our back. Shoulder blades. One, two, 
three, fill those hamstrings at the back of your upper legs, clenching to draw those lower legs in. One more. And relax. Okay, coming into a full plank again or a plank from your knees. So if we're from our knees, we'll be staying on our knees but tapping one long leg out to the side. Otherwise, we're up on our toes all together and we're just tapping our right leg out to the side for the count of 10. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other leg, left leg, out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done. Drop to the knees, spin the knees around and come on to our bottom. Okay, sitting high on our bottom, back straight, knees bent towards the ceiling, knees and ankles and collarbone all in a straight line. Just going to sit as high as we can with a straight back and then bring our feet off the ground and just hold there. So not bringing them up into tabletop as we normally would, just an inch or so off the ground. And then bring one leg into tabletop and lowering, the other leg into tabletop and lowering. So maintaining that straight spine, not flaring our ribs at the front up, keeping them tucked in, scooped in. Up, down, up, down, up. Try not to move the upper body at all. Okay, let's go together, both legs up into tabletop and lower. Up, try and keep them level. Okay, bring our legs into table job, join our knees together, see if we can release our arms out to the side. Hold there and breathe. Three more breaths. Bring our hands back behind our knees and slowly lower ourselves to the floor. Have a rest on the floor for a moment. Okay. Keeping our pelvis in neutral for the starters, so hands flat on our hip bones and pubic bones, slight arch under the back. First of all, contract your pelvic floor in and tighten the lower belly. So feel that firm support, that T-zone switch on. From there, we're just going to take our middle back slightly towards the floor, imprint it slightly towards the floor and still maintain that T-zone switched on. Coming up into tabletop, one leg at a time. One leg, then the other leg, and then we're going to glue them together. Arms out to the side like a T. And then we're going into a variation of pendulum where we're taking one leg out to the side, keeping the other leg pointing directly up to the roof. No movement. Back to centre. Other leg out to the side. Back to centre. Keep alternating sides. Opening that knee up the same way we did when we were on all fours earlier. Keep the neck long, so slightly chuck, tuck the chin.
Okay, either keep going like this or an option, another option is to go out to the side, straighten the leg and then bring it back and back into tabletop. Out to the side, straighten the leg, back to centre, tabletop. Try not to let the ribs flare up, keep that lower back, back imprinted towards the mat. Flatten the, that rib cage down towards your hip bones. and draw the knees to the chest. Okay, going now into hundreds. Let's make our way back down with our legs in tabletop. Our hands, option one, feet can stay on the floor. Option two, legs in the air. Option, option three, legs extended. Raise the head, pulse the arms. Reaching forward, breathing in for five. Strong pulses and out for five. Keep it going. Three more breaths. And bring the knees in. Little rock from side to side. Hold one knee against the chest and then circle the other knee out and around in a hip rotation. And then the other direction. And hold that knee in and circle the other hip. Other way. And then place both feet down on the floor. Okay, hands resting on the floor, palms up so that we don't use our arms here. Have our feet, our heels in close to our bottom. Our ankles and knees hip width apart. Curl the pelvis, so take the lower back to the floor, pubic bone to the roof, and then slowly lift the spine up from the mat into a bridge. Take a breath here, and then as you exhale, pull that belly in and curl and paint the spine back down onto the mat. Slowly does it and then straighten back into neutral pelvis before we 
tilt and peel up again. So we're going to go up half a dozen times in our own time. Really working those bones in our spine, trying to get them to really work one bone at a time. Using our abdominal muscles to control this. Okay, resting down now. We're going to lift one leg at a time, straight up into the air. You can place your hands slightly under your buttock if that means that you're able to straighten those legs a little bit more. And we're just going to scissor our legs from side to side. Make sure again we're sliding our rib cage, our lower rib cage down towards our belly, pulling and tightening all these belly muscles. And then if you feel your uh, abdominals can control, you can start, start to scissor and lower towards the floor. Don't have to scissor quickly and then back up again. And lower. And again. And come to a stop, bring the knees to the chest and place the feet down on the floor again. We're going into full length roll ups, so extend your legs, Pilates stance, wrap the thighs around to the outsides. Inhale, tighten the tummy muscles, the T-zone, take the arms overhead and exhale. Head up, chin forward, looking at your feet, start to roll up to wherever you can come. Reach forward and then as you exhale again, going back and down. And take yourself all the way down onto your back again. Bring the heels in close to your bottom again. Tilt the pelvis and roll up into our bridge like we did before. This time we're going to inhale, take our arms over our head. Hold them there while we hold our bridge. Hips high, breathing away. The knees fall out, keep the inner thighs working towards each other so that we've got our knees and inner thighs parallel. Three more breaths. 
breaths here. Inhale, bring your arms back down to your sides and slowly roll down as you exhale. And rest. Okay, our next Pilates exercise is abdominal curls, but we're going to bring our legs into tabletop for this one. Hands are by our ears. Inhale, prepare, exhale, lift our head and shoulders, slide our ribs towards our hip bones, pull our T zone in, come up as high as we can, and then go down as you inhale. Exhale, come up. Use your breath. Inhale, go down. Exhale, come up. Inhale, go down. Try and keep the elbows wide, don't pull on the neck. Keep flattening that belly down towards the floor. Let's do two more. Holding up now, keeping our shoulders off the ground, let's have some little pulses for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and lower. Okay, going into a crisscross now, what we're going to do is cross a right heel onto a right ankle onto a left knee. Then we're going to bring our head off the floor and bring our fingertips to our ears. Inhale, prepare, exhale, take our left rib to our right hip bone, twist and look at our bottom elbow. Back to center and twist. Back to center. Twist, working our right side of our oblique muscles here. And back. Try and keep that right, uh, right knee away from you. Don't bring it in to meet the elbow. Focus on the hip crossing over to the, the left lower rib cage, crossing over to the right hip. Come back to centre, lower down. Uncross the legs, cross the left ankle onto the right knee, hands by the ears, lift the head, right lower rib cage to left hip. Off we go. Don't drop the head back against the mat. Looking at that left elbow as you twist. So give your eyeballs a workout. Two more. And come back to centre and relax the head down. Unravel the legs. Straighten the legs out, hands above your head. Have a big stretch. And then let's make our way onto our side. Lay long along the mat. Straight legs, straight arms. Well, head down on a straight arm or it can be on resting up on your wrist. Lengthen both sides of your waist. 
pulling your pelvic floor and your lower abdominals. And then we're just going to, your front the top arm can come in the front for a little bit of a balancing point. Lift the top leg, lift the bottom leg, drop the bottom leg, drop the top leg. Up, up, bottom, down, bottom, down, top. Make sure we've got this top hip rolling so it slightly feels like you're rolling forward but you've actually got it on top, stacking on top of the bottom hip. So up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. Two more, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. Okay, now we're going to go top leg up, bottom leg up, both down together. Up, up. Both down, up, up, both down, up, up, both down. Thinking along both sides of the waist, up, up, both down, up, up, both down. Two more, up, up, both down, up, up, both down. Now we want a double leg lift and lower. So we're going up with two legs, hold there for a pause, and down. Up, hold, down. Up, hold, down. Up, hold, down. Up, hold, down. Up, hold. Down, last one, up, hold, and down, and bring the knees in for a moment. We'll come into a, um, a clam with our legs at right angle. So I've got my upper body, my knee, and my thighs coming out at a right angle, and my lower legs at a right angle to my thighs. Lengthen through both sides of the waist, so long waists either side, and then we're just lifting top leg up, keeping the heel and knee parallel, and down. Up, try not to roll the top hip back. If you place your hand on that top button, you should feel that muscle doing the work. To our side, our bottom leg can be bent. Our top leg we're going to extend out with a flex foot. We're going to kick that foot forward, bring our knee to chest, our knee to knee, and point behind. Kick forward, knee to chest, knee to knee, behind. Kick forward, knee to chest, knee back, behind. Kick forward, knee to chest. Knee back, extend. And last one, kick forward, knee to chest, knee back, extend. Keep that top leg extended and we're just going to touch up and down with that hip joint in full as far back as we can. So feeling the stretch through the front part of your top hip here. And down. Last thing on this side, we're just going to come up into an elbow plank. So again, you can come from the knees. And we're just lowering and lifting the hips. Or from full length feet. Make sure the elbow is underneath the top, uh, the top, the shoulder, and then we're lifting and lowering 
this top hip. You can have your hand on your hip or up in the air. So lifting that hip as high as you can. And down. Oh, good job. Let's roll over onto our other side. Making a, a long straight line again for our leg lifts. So we have long waist, belly forward in, hand for balance, top leg up, bottom leg up, bottom leg down, top leg down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up. up down, down, up, up, down, down. Two more. Okay, let's try for up, up, both down. Up, up, both down. Up, up, both down. Up, up. up down, up, up, down, two more, up, up, down, up, up, down. Okay, double leg lifts and lowers. So both legs up, pause and lower, up, pause, lower, up, pause, lower, keep that going. Two more, and lower, one more, well done. Okay, bringing our legs at in our right angles, making sure our waist is long, lift and lower our clam. Trying to keep that foot and knee going up and down. A nice horizontal to the floor or the bottom leg. Okay, lowering down, good job. All right, into our bicycle. So bottom leg bent, top leg extended, kick it forward, kneel to chest, knee, knee to chest, knee back, extend. Kick forward, knee to chest, knee back, extend. Forward, in, back. Keep that going, a few more. A kneel, it's a halfway between a knee and a heel in my brain. One more. Hold that leg back in extension, tapping back and down, up and down. Holding it as far back as we can. Don't have to touch the floor. And stop. Bring the knees down and in. Coming up onto our side for our plank. So again, from the knees, Lower and lift, or from the feet. In a long line, lower the hips, 
lift the hips, lower, lift. to all fours. We're going to step our right foot forward next to our right hand. Come up onto our left knee and then just straightening our front leg, just lean forward over that front leg. You can bring the hands down to the mat, try and keep the spine straight. We're getting a stretch behind our right leg here. Bring that foot back to the floor. Bring your weight forward and stretch through the back left hip. You might need to crawl the foot forward a little bit. Okay, hands to the floor, step the right foot back and the left foot forward, straighten the front foot here on the floor, bend forward over that left leg. Come forward, stretch out the back thigh and hip flexors. And then stepping that left foot back next to the knees together, hands spread, tuck the toes under and let's push up into our downward dog. Pushing that in towards our heels, towards the floor, feeling the stretch through the shoulders, the backs of the legs, under our arms. Towing our feet towards our hands, hanging forward, stretching again through the backs of our legs, relaxing our upper body. And then bending our knees and slowly rolling up. Let's give our shoulders a big circle backwards. Bring them up towards your ears and then take them back, opening up the chest, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Bring our arms up over our head, pull the arms back as far as we can, stretching under our arms, hoping our chest. Let's go over to one side. to centre. And over to the other side, if you didn't notice, hands down. Let's just take our hands behind our back, lift one knee up in the air and just work on a little bit of balance. Just balancing on one foot. Keep your shoulders back and down, your core switched on. And release that foot down. Try for our other foot. And 
release. Let's take three big, beautiful breaths in and out. In and out. One more. Great job. Thanks for joining me to get today. I will upload this video on YouTube so you can do it again. Um, YouTube Eden Hope Hospital videos. Good. Thanks again for joining me. Bye.